If you're an AP student, the last day to turn in AP dues is April 24th. You can turn them in to your teachers. Some important prom dates to remember will be March 20th, which is the last day for juniors to turn in their dues of $64, and April 1st, which is the last day to make changes to your date list. The Alabama Governor's School will be happening from June 16th to the 24th. If you're interested in doing this, you can see Mrs. DeLuca sometime today. If you're interested in being an A for Mrs. Aesthetically Special Ed class next year, you can pick up a form in the office. All forms must be due by March 20th. Three of our students here at the school have made a website dedicated to the ACT. If you want to learn more about the ACT, be sure to check out this website. And last but not least, there are some prom dresses selling by Mrs. D. Bird. They're good, they're cheap, so go get one. St. Patrick's Day is next Tuesday. Mrs. Sedeclou's class is currently selling St. Patrick's Day buttons. One inch buttons are $2 and three inch buttons are $3. If you want to personalize your button, you can for an extra $2. Go by today and order your button so that you don't get pinched for your lack of green next week. The 2015-2016 Smith Station High School Course Selection Guide has been posted. To view the guide and find out more information regarding course selection, please visit www.panthernews.com. Here, under Important Information, is a link to the course selection guide, as well as a link to the school's website that has more detailed information about it. Here's Caleb Carroll and Alyssa Brown with some info on FCA. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or FCA, is an organization that preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ through sports in schools nationwide. Mitchell Dean is one of the FCA leaders in our area. We have 22 certified FCA huddles here in East Alabama, and so that's 22 active uh, ministries going on on uh, junior high, high school campuses. We actually even have one um, elementary school um, FCA huddle in Phoenix City, and so from a week to week basis, we're hitting four or five different schools um, every week. I got the chance to talk with him about his background and his experiences with the FCA. I actually graduated from Smith Station, so I played football, uh, baseball, and basketball here at Smith. And then I went on to play two years of junior college football in Mississippi and then signed with the University of West Georgia. Played football there for three years and graduated there in 2010. I was a sports management major and was getting ready to uh, graduate, praying, and felt like the Lord was calling me into ministry. Had somebody give me Chet Williams' book. He's a chaplain uh, for Auburn University. Heard about the ministry of FCA and everything that was going on um, with that ministry and thought, man, I love sports, love athletics. Feel like God's calling me into ministry. Um, it would be awesome to be able to tie those two things together. And so long story short, I had the opportunity to intern with FCA to graduate from West Georgia and then came on staff uh, shortly thereafter. For my last question, I asked if he had a specific Bible verse that motivates his life. I do have a life verse. It's actually our family's verse, and it's Ephesians 2.10 that says that we are his workmanship, created brand new in Christ Jesus due to the good things he had planned long ago. It's something I tell my daughter often, something I tell my, my boys often, is that to remind ourselves daily who we are in Christ and that he's got a plan that he wants to accomplish in and through our life on a daily basis. If you're interested in being a part of this, FCA meets in Mr. Horn's room at 8.15 every Tuesday. This has been Kayla Carroll with PNN. We've previewed all the electives. Now here's Kirk McKee and Liam Cray with the last one. Hello students, I'm Mr. Robinson and I teach multimedia design in the 400 building, which is the career tech building. Uh, multimedia design is an elective class where you learn about producing brochures, flyers, web page designs, and and a host of other things. If you're a creative student, it's a class for you. To be in multimedia design, um, you have to have an entry level computer class uh, for the class because it's a hands-on and you have to have basic computer knowledge uh, to be able to work well in the class. Um, after you leave the class, uh, some of the things that I want the students to be able to know is how to produce brochures, um, how to design a web page, um, how to uh, have basic knowledge of the computer and to be comfortable on formatting and working on the computer. Uh, we also have a student organization called Future Business Leaders of America, which is FBLA, which is a co-curricular component of the class, and you get a chance to travel and meet students. Um, and being in the business department, um, you have all these different classes. You get to take like accounting, uh, finance, you get to co-op. So um, being in the business department is um, it's a good thing, and you get to meet new and interesting people. Here's Kathy Friends with your latest Vines of the Week. 
either one of the inequalities. All right. So in order for us to reach the focus, where'd you find <laughs> There's no need to feel down. I said, young man, pick yourself off the ground. I said, young man, cause you're in a new town. I've been freaking losing. Get out of your mind. We got to get inside. Son, this water really wet. So lonely, For just 39 cents, you can give new life to me. <laughs> the bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. Okay. Why are you late? The bell doesn't tell me to go to class, I do. And you're gonna hear me. Bah. Bah. Here's Stephanie and Seda with your latest app of the week. Are you ready for the next biggest app in the App Store? This new app takes a lot of focus and concentration in order to get far in the game. This app is called Circle Surfer. The concept of this game is easy, but if you lose concentration, you also lose the game. In this app, you are the surfer and you are trying to earn coins to level up and buy new features. While you are going around the circle, blocks will pop up randomly and you have to tap the screen so you can get underneath the block without hitting it. You must time the jump perfectly because if the block hits you anywhere, then you automatically lose. The farther you get in the game, the faster the game will go and the more blocks will appear to get in your way. More of our apps can be found on panthernews.com. Now it's back to Jacob in the studio. Here's Lilith Bue and myself with some information on St. Patrick's Day. Every year on St. Patrick's Day, the St. Patrick's Day leprechaun comes out to pinch those who choose not to wear green. I'm a little leprechaun dressed in green, the tiniest man that you have seen. If you ever catch me, so it's told, I'll give you my big pot of gold. A little leprechaun, imagine that With my little green boots and my big green hat At the end of the rainbow, so it's told You will find my pot of gold I'm a little leprechaun dressed in green The tiniest man that you have seen if you ever catch me, so it's told, I'll give you So be sure to wear green on St. Patrick's Day, lest the St. Patrick's Day leprechaun get ya. Big pot of gold. Here's Kathy Friends and Zarian Morse with a PSA on texting and driving. Well, that's all we have for you today, Smith Station, but it's okay because we have five more days until spring break. Have a great weekend. See you next week.